I'd like to thank everybody today for coming out. It was a beautiful day, unlike last year when we had to cancel the parade. This was really nice. I think the parade went off very well. I want to uh, thank some people before we get started. Mike Eller and the Claymont Fire Company did a great job of putting out the cones and direction traffic. A lot, of, a lot of time goes into that that we don't see. The whole Claymont Fire Company for supplying and giving a ride to Santa Claus. Uh, Barbara Harbin, who takes care of the weed each year. There she is, right there. Claymont Lions Club for organizing the parade this year. And of course, Rick Jensen, the only MC or the only Grand Marshal we ever had two years in a row. <laughs> Even though last year he got off easy. So I'm going to call uh, Rick forward here, and he's going to make a few comments. We appreciate his long, long years of service to the uh, Claim My Parade and his uh, constantly uh, calling me up on me to be on the radio and all that good stuff. So here he is, Rick. In other words, man, is he old. Yeah. Claim on. So 23 years ago or so, the folks at the parade couldn't get any love from the newspaper. Other stations wanted to charge him. I said, sure, what the heck? Fast forward to today, and Claymont is all about changes. 3,000 people up and down the Philadelphia Pike. Isn't that great? The first year, I think there were like 300 people. So the Dutch landed in Claymont and said, nice place. And they said, uh, Chief Damons of the Lenape uh, tribe, uh, we'll name a road and a creek after you. Thank you very much. Change is Claymont. Then what happens? A guy named uh, John Grubb, I believe in the 1600s, bought 400 acres and said, hey, nice place, let's build some stuff here. Claymont, big changes. There are rich people in Philadelphia who would come down here and play by the riverside. Really, it was a, like a little holiday getaway. Big changes. And then came the Industrial Revolution. Steel plant, one owner, two owner, three owner, bye bye and now, what do we have? A great multi-use development over there and a great train station, Claymont. What's that all about? It's all about change. 1994, this big old weeds growing on Philadelphia Pike right by the highway over here. Del Dot says, yeah, we don't like that. People say, we love it. They're decorating it just on their own with tinsel and ornaments. Del Dot yanks it out. Someone brings another weed and puts it and said, no, man, this is Claymont. We are resilient. You knock us down, we get back up again, right? right. So, at one point, they, we had to have guards guarding it so Del Dot wouldn't take it. I really do believe the Christmas weed is so representative of Claymont. Change, knock us down, we get up. Change, knock us down, we get up. Claymont. This is all about you, and it's wonderful. It is absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Now, we do have some elected uh, officials. Not the word I use in my radio program, but they are very supportive of Claymont, and I want to start off with uh, KL Evans Gay, because ladies first. If you want to say something, come right over. And by the way, I do have a rule for the Christmas parade when politicians speak. 30 seconds. And at 31, out comes the hook. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much, Rick. Thank you for your distinction two years in a row. My name is Kyle Evans Gay. I'm the state senator representing Senate District 5. Those people know us. Um, and I'm so ecstatic to be here. I missed the parade last year. But we come back strong. They knock us down. How am I doing? Time check, 20 seconds? 20 seconds. There we go. Keep See, going. I'm not so bad. Keep going. Listen. This is an amazing display of what community is all about. I walked up and down this street and I saw people not just from Claymont, but people who come to Claymont because they know all the opportunity here. And I hope that the train station, the work done by the Lions and the Fire Hall and everyone here to make today possible, every day they are working on behalf of you to make it all possible. So thank, thank, so thank someone today for the work they did today and give yourselves a pat on the back for being one of the best communities in Delaware. True enough. All right, and, uh, and uh, State Rep. Larry Lambert. Yeah. And go. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Thank you, everyone, for coming out today. Being born and raised in Claymont has been an absolute blessing. I want to thank all of you for coming out, 
for celebrating Claymont is love. Look at the sun coming out today. It's a beautiful day. This is the season of thanks, thankfulness. And I just want to let you know that I'm thankful for each and every one of you. Let's keep this positive energy going. There's a lot of wonderful things going on in Claymont. We have some ways to go, but we are proud of the progress that we've made. On Monday, we opened our, our train station. We had our ribbon cutting. On Monday, travel starts. And today, we're all coming out and celebrating positivity. Thanks again for everyone coming out. Happy Woo! holidays. Punch <laughs> it. Well done. All right, thank you. I'd like to uh, thank some monetary uh, supporters of the parade. It cost, uh, believe it or not, about $4,000 to put this parade on. So without the community support, it would be not possible. So first of all, uh, Eagle One Fre uh, Federal Credit Union up the street here, they did a great job. Claymont yeah. Historical Society, yeah. Knights of Columbia's, Columbus, the Brandywine Club, a sizable donation. And of course, New Sassel County Council, they gave us a big helping hand this year. Uh, I'd like to thank the uh, advertisers too. Uh, Delaware Del Digital Video, Ray does all the filming, does a great job. Every year he puts up our website. What a guy. I didn't have to pay him any money, did I yet? <laughs> I don't have money yet, right? Uh, Reva Brown from Stone School, she does the uh, happening uh, list each year, so we appreciate her doing that. Uh, Naaman's Beverage Bar up here on Naaman's Road, they advertise our parade each year, which is very nice of them. And of course, Rick Jensen, for all the radio time he gives to the parade, and without that, we probably wouldn't have half the people to show up. So we really do appreciate Rick's help. All right, after we do, we're going to do the blessing of the weed next, and then you may come up and put your ornaments on the a weed if you so desire. So. You're, you're yes. Chris Moore, and this is Ascension Church. Welcome. I'm not a politician, and am I bound by the 32nd rule? No. <laughs> but I'm not going to go on. Almighty God. We thank you for this opportunity to gather together as a community on this 33rd Blessing of the Weed here in Claymont. Let this small plant be for us a reminder that great things can come from humble beginnings. Let this plant, which in its first year pushed through the concrete and survived any, many attempts to remove it and appeared again and again, remind us of the importance of persistence including for our community of Claymont, which has now survived for over two centuries on the banks of the Delaware. Let this plant's humble appearance remind us that something that is plain can become beautiful, and that the worth of a person is not determined by the clothes they wear or the car they drive, but by who they are. As the first Claymont weed pushed up against the hard surface of the concrete, to claim its place in the sun. Let us feel the same commitment to push back against injustice and intolerance in our community, in our nation, and in the world. Finally, as we gather here in safety to celebrate this Claymont Day 2023, let us remember those in our world at this moment who have no safety or even basic necessities. Let us rededicate ourselves to the values which make any community great, as safe, friendly, and nurturing places, even in times of growing division and intolerance. Let Claymont be a model of working and living together in a spirit of mutual tolerance and respect. Let us extend even wider our circle of compassion to include people of all races, religions, ethnicities, and cultures. Let Claymont and all communities in the world be shining cities set upon the hill as we gather here on the banks of the Delaware. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anybody has an ornament to place on the weed, please come up and do so. Yeah, you put one in the bottom. Yeah, it'll be 
be fine. We have a ton. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want one? No, I have to. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to let you know that yeah. it's going to get cold. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have one more uh, gentleman I'd like to bring forward, uh, John Cartier, a councilman, and uh, he was very instrumental in getting us a grant from Newcastle County. Thank you, Don. It's, it's a great day. Thank God the rain lifted and gave us this great day to have the Claymont Christmas Parade, a tradition now that spans back a generation, and I understand that the Christmas weed, this is the 30th year for the Christmas weed for Claymont. So we're so glad everybody came out. I'd just like to thank the Claymont Lions Club for organizing in this parade. All of our first responders, the Claymont Fire Company, the Brandywine Fire Company, all our police escorts today, you know, keeping us safe and so the community could have an enjoyable parade today. I just want to wish all of you a safe and enjoyable holiday weekend. Merry Christmas to you all and we're looking forward to 2024. Happy New Year. Okay, at this time we're going to call Andy forward. Andy, ready to do this? All right, we have a song. If you have a paper you want to sing along, and that's great. Andy will lead us. Yeah, this, this Christmas weed was founded in 1993, so this is its 30th anniversary. Uh, I wrote this song in 2001, a song for the Christmas weed, and we've been singing it almost every year since. Uh, I'd like to thank Mike Senich over here on keyboard, whom I met an hour ago, who lives close by, and he brought out his keyboard to accompany us. So we have some members of the what was the Claimant Community Chorus, which we hope to revive soon, fell into abeyance after Agnes McGeehan died, our pianist, at that time. So, Mike, if you're ready. On a concrete island on an overpass, a crack appeared then the blade of grass. The wind blew up and bore a sea, and in that crack there grew a weed. Weed, a weed, a bonny, bonny weed, it grew to maturity from a seed. It's a miracle, they say, oh yes indeed, and it happened right here in Claymont. How the wheat grew up while all around, conditions were so harsh on that pile of ground. Through a concrete barrier, the stock it came, but a bonny wee wheat, it flourished just the same. same the same, it flourished just the same, and slowly but slowly grew its fame. It's a miracle, they say, and we'll make the claim that it happened right there in Claymont. Throughout December our wheat survived, it not only grew but began to thrive. The townsfolk all were so impressed that they shouted out loud, this town is blessed, 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 this town is blessed. 
the joyful sound each one confessed it's a miracle they say and none could have guessed that it happened right there in Claymont some folk decided both there and then to decorate the weed and start a trend by hanging lights and decorations too the Christmas wheat reputation grew it grew, it grew, this reputation grew to the Christmas wheat fame did accrue it's a miracle they say and out of the blue it happened right there in Playmont. Uh, for those, some of you may know this, but we became famous a couple of days ago when the Philadelphia Inquirer published an article on the 12 quirkiest things to do at Christmas. And in the title, the first one was Christmas Wheat. So, how you like to know that? Thank you. Thank you very much, Andy. I'd like to uh, mention Pete Durga back there. Raise your hand, Pete. And his group were big in the instrumental and lining up the parade up on the pike. Nobody got hurt, did they? No, that's good. All right, that's it. Thank you all. Happy holidays to one and all. See you next year. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.